Hey guys, today I'm talking about our FunMat HT Starter Pack. This includes everything you'll need to get printing and keep printing based on the last three years of experience and customers asking me, what are all the stuff I should get? You know, just give me everything that I'll need in the first six months and give me that and I'll buy it. Uh, you should make a bundle pack. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll make a bundle pack. So we put together everything you'll need and the most used items and the consumables and the stuff that's gonna save you a lot of money and headaches over your first six months to a year and longer printing on the FunMat HT Enhanced. Now, there are two ways to buy this kit. One is standalone and one is with the fun mat. Now, they're exactly the same, but you get a little bit better deal when you buy it with your fun mat HT. So, if you're just getting started and you want to print production prototyping and just go straight off to the races and keep printing and have everything you'll need, then this is a great kit to get you started. If you already have a FunMat HT, then this is a great way to enhance your production capabilities, get some spares, get some extra parts, and some things that'll allow you to do hot swapping and print more, faster, and better. So on top of everything you see here, which I'll be going over in just a second, this also comes with, whether you buy it with the machine or not, three months of our tier one support, which basically allows you to call us and talk about slicing optimization and part optimization and advanced printing techniques. Now, we'll always help you with the machine regardless. If something's going wrong with it, give us a call, we'll help you fix it. But when it comes to the more advanced side of slicing the part and advanced settings and temperatures and all this crazy stuff, aside from our basic profiles available for free on our website, this support package really gives you a step up and is going to shorten your learning curve significantly. Now, our tier two and three support packages also have some discounts and consumables, but that's a story for another time. Okay, so let's go through the contents of the kit. Firstly, over here, we've got two spare high temperature extruders. Now, this is just so if you're printing and you get a clog or a jam and you need to get that part out quickly, then you can just take one of these, pop it right back into the machine and rebuild the other one later so you can start your print and then rebuild your clog nozzle. So it makes it really handy. Also, if some of the parts in the hot end do go bad after time, you'll have full sets of spares so you can rebuild just about everything. And we do stock all the spare parts, but this sort of eliminates the need for that, especially in a quick situation where you need something fast and you can't wait for us to ship it from California. Next, we've got our carbon fiber plates. Now, these are plates that we custom developed for ourselves because we were breaking glass all the time. Whether the parts stuck on there too good with Peak and Ultim, or you know you accidentally let it cool down for too long and it pulls chunks out of the center of the plate, or even PTG using nothing can pull chunks. We see this all the time, ABS as well. These carbon fiber plates will not break. You can throw it at the wall and it won't break. Don't recommend doing that, but you get the point. So we made these and we finally came out with them last year and they work fantastic. And for $80 a plate of the glass, every time you break that glass, it's 80 bucks. So over time, you're gonna save a lot of money by having these plates. And we also include two full sets of the screws that are magnetic and go into the machine. So you can actually just take a plate out, put another one right back in and start a print and then go worry about your print. That's the other thing. If you let high temperature plastics cool down on glass, they'll pull chunks. That doesn't happen with these. You can take the plate out and let it sit overnight and your part will either pop itself off or you can just scrape it later, but it won't damage the surface and you're not gonna break glass and have an $80 uh, expense on the line. So we also include a full variety of nozzles in brass and hardened steel in every size from 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0.8 millimeters. Now this allows you to do a full gamut of different types of parts, whether it's structural or super fine and detailed in all the materials. We've got the brass, which you'll mostly use for peak and the super high temp stuff if you need perfect layer adhesion. And that's because the thermal conductivity of brass is just so much better than the hardened steel. But why would you use the hardened steel? The hardened steel is for all you carbon fiber fanatics, printing with glass fills and carbon fiber fills and even white pigmented filaments which have titanium dioxide and that eventually wears out the nozzle. So the hardened steel 
basically doesn't wear out nearly as fast and you can get like probably 10 times as much filament through it before it needs replacing. So we've got two of each of those so you can experiment with the different sizes. Maybe you want to print a part a lot faster with higher layer heights and wider layer widths and you use the 0.8 or the 0.6 but maybe you've got a tiny part and you need super fine details, then you go to the 0.4 or the 0.2, and I tell you, there's some incredible stuff that you can do with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. But we give you the full gamut so you're ready to go no matter what kind of part you're gonna print. Next, we've got the heat breaks. We include 10 heat breaks because one of the things that does happen is heat creep. Now, this is very rare now with the proper process, and if you don't let the material sit in the extruder for a long time, but sometimes a fan will go out, or you'll forget about it, or something will happen, and your polymer will get melted up in the heat break, and then you pretty much have to replace it. So we include a bunch of those, 10 of those actually, so that you can rebuild your hot ends if you need to, and they're ready to go, and it's just a great thing to have on hand. Next, we've got our metal spools. Now, in conjunction with our drying kit, this is essential for high temperature filaments. We developed this for ourselves because we were tired of melting spools when you're drying these filaments. Now, a lot of filaments can be dried around 50 to 70 Celsius, but high temperature filaments have to be dried at 120 or more, up to 150 Celsius, and most spools can't handle that. You put it in the oven, 10 minutes later you come back and it's all melting and warped and, and crazy. So we actually went out and made our own metal spools and we've included two of those in this kit. So you can have multiple materials or you can have one material and one's drying and one's printing and then you can swap them out when it's ready to go or you can just have them ready sitting in the vacuum chamber if you got our drying kit. So these come in really handy and we designed them so they're really easy to use and you can, you know, if you've ever used carbon filaments where you can't get all the way to the hole or you're going to have a huge dangler going off to the side, you can actually secure it anywhere around the entire spool and we just made it easy. You know, this is something we did again for ourselves and we're passing it along to you. So I'll just leave that out right here. We've got our flex extruder inserts. So this is just something we designed to go inside the actual extruder. Flexible filaments always like to find the path of least resistance, and a lot of times that's a small hole somewhere around the extruder gear. So this we specifically designed to make it a little bit easier to print those filaments. It's not easy by any means, don't get me wrong, but this makes it a hundred times easier. Now we printed these out of Ultim 1010, and these are the current versions that work the best and they're strong and it's, yeah, awesome little thing. Also, if you get these, you'll notice they were printed with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle and they'd be basically impossible without it. Lastly, we've got our nanopolymer adhesive, which is the bed adhesive that works for just about every filament, but we designed it for Peak and Ultim because we were having troubles in our own shop and then we discovered it worked for everything from PLA to nylon to ABS to ASA to you name it, it pretty much works. Uh, no, Delrin and polypropylene do not work, but everything else it's pretty insane not only do we have one but we include four that's 200 bucks alone in glue now inside here just so i can demystify everything inside here we've got an instruction sheet the bottle of nanopolymer as well as an acid brush that won't melt if you're going to do the hot application on the build plate when it's at 140 to 160 celsius which can give you some other results too. More on that another time. So to wrap it up, you know, we've got all this stuff in here and uh, it's everything you're gonna need to print and keep printing. If you wanna hot swap and produce and just keep printing all day and then start again and go all night, then this has everything you need. You've got the spare extruder, so if you get a jam, you can just throw it right back into the machine and then rebuild your other hot end later. You've got the heat brakes for that rebuilding, fresh nozzles of every size for that rebuilding. Uh, you've got the carbon fiber plates that are gonna save you so much money and headaches from broken glass, it's 80 bucks a pop, and these things, trust me, they pay off. You can also let high temp polymers cool down on these, which you cannot on glass. I mean, it's, it's hard to describe how much better these really are in everyday practical use. We've also got the build plate bolts that go along with those, so you can hot swap one in, uh, you know, take it out and put another one right back in. And then we've got our metal spools for drawing. If you've got our filament drawing kit, then these pair with that 
perfectly. And that's everything you need to start printing, keep printing, and just go all out. On top of it all, it does come with three months of our support where we'll actually help you learn the slicers and optimize your parts and really just get those fine-tuned printing techniques because like a CNC machine, you still do need a skilled operator and uh, that's what it is. If you got any questions, hit us up, contact at visionminer.com or give us a call. We're out here in sunny California and we specialize in peak and ultim and high temperature performance thermoplastics. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.